Hi, I'm the Nature Ninja and today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing quite a few videos um, because today I'm going to be doing a beach clean and after that we might be going surfing so and also new idea ping if you subscribe to my channel then you will have to make a pledge and you can make that pledge in the comments down there um it's got to be a pledge about saving the planet though it has to be about saving the planet and i'll see you soon bye hello we are on our way to driving to ross Niger, um to do a beach clear up and after that we're gonna go to do some bodyboarding which i've been wanting to do for like um since i was four for five years technically i think yeah and it's really pretty outside wait no that that's the wrong way that that's them that's that's my face that is the view of the outside that's the sun very bright sun and yeah i'll do another up Day, um, uh, when we actually get to the beach and you can see all the rubbish we are going to collect. Hi, we're at the beach. This is the beach. It's Ross Niger Beach and we're going to go plastic hunting. Oh look, there's our shadows. And we're here on a plastic cleanup trying to save the planet. Oh my god, I can't see the phone. Let's get down anyway. Yeah. Um, so this is technically quick scan of beach, dog, dad, me. I have a firework stick. Yeah. Apparently it's called a rocket cat F2. Hmm. Yeah, I would not expect to find a firework stick on a I can show you where I put it. It's just, just right there. Ooh. I'm just like poking out like that. That's the weirdest rubbish I've ever found on the beach. The pyrox stick. Mad. What you got? Look. It's some sort of plastic bag thing. And I don't know. It looks like a bit of plastic wrapper, doesn't it? And yeah. Half a cup. Wow. Okay. Hi, we just saw the weirdest thing, right? Look, rubbish. Rubbish. Wait, I'm gonna collect that. Wait, no. Yeah. So, rubbish. Ugh. Then more rubbish. Sort of, sort of rubbish trail. looks like a really clean beach but it is not look more rubbish and a can why is there a can okay random this is a look of our bag so far it's just plastic plasticky stuff there's like cans and more plasticky stuff and mainly things covered in sand. Look at what you spotted there, then, Libby. This oh, is fun. a plastic straw. Our first plastic straw of the beach clean, but they are bad for the environment. Plastic straw. Dun, dun, dun! Into the bag. Look, here are two. One red one without any seaweed, yeah. and then there's this green rope with the seaweed. And you've seen, like, if you look closely, like the seaweed has kind of bound to the rope. And I think that's what happens if um, some sort of litter is left. Oh, yeah, it came off. No seaweed rope, yes. I just find a bit of pollen.
polystyrene and that's really bad for the environment because polystyrene is made up of lots of little balls that break really easily look i can show you oh no i won't be able to show you <laughs> and these balls like when they break like the wind can carry them because they're really light and then animals can eat them and then the animals die then yeah so finding the polystyrene ew it looks like it's got marmite on it um that's going to be a good find into the bag right um i've missed i've missed uh, in this seaweed um i found um some uh shark pods they're also known as um mermaid's purse um so the shark pods um the baby shark is in here and then um i don't know how but like they break open there or it just breaks open and then they swim out and then the sea puts these on the well not puts them like washes these onto the shore and yeah i thought that was a bit cardboard silly me yeah so it's not rubbish but it's interesting so i thought you might like to know about these little shark pods Oh. Look at this, so this is a crab shell, I believe, um, I think it's from a spider crab, and I've actually never seen a crab shell before, I think I've seen some crabs, but never a crab shell, look at that, that's really cool, and I don't know if they're yellow on the inside, must be aged, but find that, right there, that is quite amazing actually. and we found this old boat like why is there a boat no idea but see that's the wood like red yeah it's meant to be red so that's too good red but there's a blue on the surface and um i'm pretty sure i collected some of that wood elsewhere you know okay. look so i found this polystyrene and it's just that bit sticking out until until I pulled out, bam! And it, it, I, I, that, How big that, is that, Libby? Is it nearly as big as your head? Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, wow. Um, so, you see, it's been... Well, I estimate it's been there for quite a while because, you see, there's bits of grass trying to grow through it, which is just weird. So yeah, it must have been it must have been here for like at least a year or so. Wow. Possibly more. Yeah, and that that really shows like. And where was it in the sand dune? Did you say? Yeah, in the sand dune. Like just 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 take this. Like kind of just like. I can't okay. get it in there. We do. We won't Wait. go into it. I know. Okay, cool. Well done, good find. So, um, I don't really know if you can see there, but just just down there, there's um, a bit of colour styrene just like stuck in it. There's, there's some more. And there's just some up there and little balls of it higher up as well. A bit of plastic buried in the sand dune there. So that that really goes to show how much Oh my god poo. Poo? What poo? Don't know. Um so yeah, oh straw. There's so much that can get entangled with this grass. And you 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 have to see our bag. That is our bag. We just completed our uh, beach cleanup, and I'm going to show you inside that shop. So, yeah, we're sorting out our swimming stuff. Um, this is the shop. There we 
love some people over there. Oh, the dogs. I love dogs. Jeff sits. Mm, sits. Yeah. That's the shop. That's the other fun stuff. And yeah, this is where we're going to get our wetsuits to go bodyboarding. This is really an exciting time because this is the award. Um, the, the award. Um, whoop, never mind that. Um, the award um, for our beach clean. We're going to go bodyboarding. Unfortunately, I can't show you me going bodyboarding personally, but I can tell you all of it in the next clip. I'm really excited. So, yay. Oh my god, that was so tiring. Okay, I just bodyboarded out on the sea. Yay! That, that was my faithful bodyboard. Thank you, bodyboard. Uh, oh my god, I feel like I've just. I feel exhausted! My hands are numb, my feet are numb, my face is numb. I've a sn ru sn s runny nose. My hair is wet. Look at my feet when they walk. My shoes are full of water because they're too spacey. Oh, and in case you haven't forgot, um, if you want to subscribe, then you can sub press the subscribe button down there. Um, oh my God. Oh. But then you also have to make a pledge. Please comment and like this big video. Bye. So this, all of this litter is what we collected on the beach clear up that we went on. It took us at least a little bit less than an hour. And I, I'll just so here we have, um, well this is the biggest pile. This is all the plastic we collected. Um, and then we've got quite a few straws over there. Then next to the straws we have the polystyrene also over there we have all the twine like plastic rope and um, behind the plastic rope all the wood so we've got the firework wood and in one of the clips i showed a broken up boat and i got a bit of this wood and this is the bit of the wood um we've got broken glass some of it sea glass some of it not see glass we've also got some pottery random rubbish and so then we've got some wire and a can so we found most of this in the sand dunes or on the tide mark um and it was a fairly clean beach but that's quite a lot of rubbish collected in less than an hour so it's in the middle with clean and um to end this video this uh, the next thing is a clip of me after my bodyboarding with my bodyboard. 